On tonight's episode, we talk about No One Can Save You. And other pop culture news from the week. It's October, Halloween is coming, and we saw another horror mm -hmm. thriller. Maybe it's just a sci-fi. We saw a very interesting movie this week called mm -hmm. No One Will Save You. Or no can't. one can save you. No, I... I, I <laughs> Uh, no one. Let me double check here. Yeah, it's yeah. It was very good. Um, it's interesting. There's no, there's no dialogue, is there? Dialogue as a, as the definition of two. No. Yeah. No, there's. She 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 talks to. No one will save you. Oh. What did I say? You said no one. You wrote no one can, but it's but no it's one no will. will. Okay. So, okay, okay. But again, if, if no one can, no one will. It's true. It's true. So anyway, now that we've thoroughly confused everybody about the title of this quite Don't delightful Don't get confused. Film. For the image on the thumbnail, the title of the episode is No One Will Save You. <laughs> it's a Hulu, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hulu, Hulu original. original. It star, it star, it star, it star, I can speak tonight. Starring, starring, staring, starring, starring. Yeah, because it's a star. Yeah, and yeah. she's on a story. So, starring um, Caitlyn Dever. Mm -hmm. We know her from uh, Dope Sick. Mm -hmm. uh, she was dope. Mm -hmm. uh, we know her Rosaline. from. from Rosaline, mm -hmm. she was on that show about a uh, real life uh, story about a a, a rape, rape, raper, rapist. Yes, rapist. Oh, what was that called? Yeah, that was so Believe? good. Believe no. Yeah, it was a one word show, but it was a uh, uh, another good one. And of course, she she's on uh, mm -hmm. Last Man Standing with Tim Allen, mm -hmm. and several other things. From time to time, you see mm -hmm. a very young her popping in someone else's movie. Yeah, as the kid. Uh, so <coughs> so she proved more than once that she, mm -hmm. she's, she's talented, she's good. On this one, she has an Herculean task. Uh, the movie is not only uh, <coughs> mainly her, not mm -hmm. to say her alone, but also, uh, and that happens in many other movies, but in this one, very little, very little, almost no dialogue or mm -hmm. monologue. Is yeah. basically facial expressions, mm -hmm. and she does it so well. I mean, not just her. There's, there's the whole team, you know, the screenwriters, directors, all that stuff. But she herself performs this so well. We were like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes into the film before we realized, wait a second, like nobody's saying anything. This level of storytelling is just it's it's fantastic. Yeah, it's really well done. It's really good. Mm -hmm. it, maybe it maybe is the is the uh intellectual more uh, ac uh more accurate palette on us but we do we do like all sorts of movies and all sorts yes. of <coughs> good mm -hmm. good stuff bad stuff funny stuff serious stuff n nothing serious at all stuff mm -hmm. realistic and realistic Mm -hmm. uh, but last time I checked, and I think it was yesterday, maybe today, the audiences are not really liking it. Really? Yeah. I thought it was so interesting. I felt like the the, the critics <gasps> on this this time the critics are, are liking it. it's 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 really? it's up there, but for the audiences, not. That's not often. Usually, we tend to align a little bit more with audiences over critics. That surprises me. I thought, okay, so what we've got going here, it, it, it's a compelling story that's working on several levels. See? She's got 80, a low 82% 82 critic score and 57% audience score. Yeah, so it's, uh, I mean, not that Rotten Tomato counts, <coughs> but, uh, well, <coughs> I don't know. I, I, I think I think we have to consider that it's Hulu. And I, uh, whoever watches a movie on Hulu, gonna run to Rotten Tomatoes to to, to vote. I don't think that happens. I, don't know. So I never have. That doesn't. But... That doesn't. That doesn't help any movie. Uh, or, or I don't know if they they have if they use the button like on on Hulu because mm -hmm. that's that's a that's that's a streaming movie. So the way to measure should be this. 
Anyways, Rotten Tomato is not to be trusted. You know, the, the people pay, literally pay for, for, for numbers, for reviews. Uh, our honest review is that I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was really good. They're, it's working on a few levels. Right away, we established there's something mysterious in her past that's led to her living kind of a peculiar lifestyle. But then, like, very quickly, we just get right into the action um, of this whole, well, the whole thriller aspect. And I don't want to give anything away. I don't know, like, what's in the trailer or synopses or anything. Um, but, like, we, we get to the thriller stuff very quickly. There are definitely, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that at, there were some inspirations that I thought were quite clear. Um, but even with that, I felt like this was not a movie I've seen before. I wasn't really sure where it was going. It was it was interesting the whole time and emotional, not just in like, oh my gosh, this is scary, but like her as a character and her backstory and, and everything was, was like kind of emotional and kind of grabbed you. Um, yeah, I thought it was really well done. And she, and she uh, as, a, as a, an actress, Mm-hmm. Visually, visually speaking, she's on a she's on a sweet spot. I mean, that doesn't sound very good, uh, but but it's like she's like Britney, you know. She's not a girl, not yet a woman. Anyway, she oh, looks, yeah. she looks very youthful. Uh, uh, that you know, uh, at some uh, sometimes you might go to this this little girl you know you feel like this little girl is in trouble she's not a little girl Mm-mm. but she she looks very youthful that you, you your mind might go and read like that uh, uh but at the same time she's she's an adult woman so you read like that so she's on a sweet spot that that gives you uh a lot to i mean she's she's versatile so she can do uh, uh young characters all the characters mm-hmm. but for this movie there is is a <coughs> it's a damsel in distress uh that has a final girl someone that has to fight for mm-hmm. her life it's uh someone young and and uh defenseless uh it helps and, and it helped it was it was very appropriate casting and in I, I think it was I think it was good. I don't know why people are not liking it again. It could be mm-hmm. many other reasons. Maybe maybe we're wrong. Maybe the movie is awful. But are we? <laughs> is it? No. I think if you it is it is definitely spooky. It was only rated PG thirteen. Yes. Um, which says a lot. They managed to pull off something that was very scary, very intense, very compelling, without like gore or swearing or nudity or. And these other, oh, like, there's a lot backs. of nudity. When that I character mean... shows up in her house, <laughs> he's nude. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> but like PG thirteen nude. Um, that no, he's said... completely nude. Okay, but the movie's rated PG thirteen. <laughs> um, I would not show this to very young children because oh, it no. is it is intense and it's like scary. And there were a lot of moments where, like. Mm, it worked for me because I have this like giant snuggle bear in my bed every night, so like I felt safe. Oh, but... I love that bear too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's me. It's I'm me. Yeah. I feel kind of weird now having said that. Like, <laughs> so anyway, the point is, it was scary, but in like a really fun way. Um, so I definitely recommend it if you're into the spooky, scary. It's on that line between horror and thriller. And um, sci-fi. With, yeah, a little dash of sci-fi. A dash that... of sci-fi is mostly sci-fi. I mean... I mean, that's, I love... That's it. a discussion we could have. Okay. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I really it, like... I really... Yeah. Uh, since you mentioned all that, it is mm-hmm. it is a, a very... I, I thought... I honestly thought it was a very nice uh, genre mix. It makes mm. two genres that... Yeah, in the past, they, they, they were uh, sci-fi and, and horror and thriller. They were mm. mixed... But this one is like almost a subgenre of uh, kind of slasher, a girl that has to survive, final girl type of yeah. movie, uh, uh, with with sci-fi, uh, earth invasion mm-hmm. uh, of sorts. And I thought it was a very very creative way because one one of the things I, I I said in the past many times that like Marvel Disney, 
whatever Marvel Disney puts out, even the mediocre the stuff, uh, <coughs> and even the the things that make uh, that fail, that make way less money than they expected, they still make a lot of money. Mm. So they they have the power to make whatever they want, and they still gonna make profit even if it is a little it's not mm -hmm. as much as uh, uh in the past so that's one, one thing that i uh, i always thought that you should do with the big franchises they have if you make a a star wars horror movie people will go watch even if it fails it's still gonna make enough money to justify them with the mid uh make horror uh marvel horror uh, films uh, or you know not only like the 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 cake recipe of silly comedy heroes in the day that they mm -hmm. always do but they could do something more and, and you know and in so many marvel movies you have things that are very little close to that but even things that are close to that they are surrounded by the formula to a point that <coughs> no they could do two different things and uh and this one i really like how how he was able to you know play with the genres and do something different mm -hmm. uh, with genres that we know that we love but he yeah. did something uh very creative i mm -hmm. i liked it again if you see the the numbers on on, on rotten tomatoes again rotten tomatoes not to be trusted and you recommend go see it because you might be surprised yeah i thought it was really great um i think if you enjoyed um, if you like Twilight Zone, like OG type Twilight Zone, um, there's some elements that remind me of that. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Um, and it, kind it, of a little bit. And it has mostly Close Encounters in Twilight Zone. And then, and then, yeah, it does like. So there's this, this fun debate that like, what's the difference between horror and thrillers? Some people say that a thriller is just like a really well written horror movie. I don't know, but we've got like our Twilight Zone plus. Final Girl, plus like thriller, plus mystery, plus, and it's, it's just, I thought it was really successful and yeah, entertaining. I really feel like uh, 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 the, I also the, want her clothes, like all of her clothes. The background, just, oh. the background story, the 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 backstory for the character. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think I feel there's very very signs. You know, yeah, uh, Mel Gibson's character mm -hmm. on, on on signs that this this whole this whole baggage that he carries and you have no idea first mm -hmm. and this and that's not only important uh for for, for the character uh develop in the movie but for what you know for for the plot we are what we we live through and 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 those characters uh mm -hmm. they are damaged they 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 suffer throughout life and, and you not only see that uh, affecting the lives of the character characters in the beginning of the movie, but that somehow guide their decisions and the story throughout the movie. Mm -hmm. There was there was a very. It also thing. explains really well, like why she's in the situation she's in. Yeah. Like like it closes some plot holes that would otherwise be there. Sure. Quite effectively. I I don't know nowadays that people do so all sorts of weird things the fact that you know I mean she lives alone in the middle of nowhere oh yeah I guess so but yeah. like 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 so often okay for me quite often with these things a big question is why don't you go to the authorities why don't you go somewhere safe this one they answer that like a really yeah. good answer for that yeah uh, but yeah uh, 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 that's not the only reason for the backstory it's not the only reason it's good it's just one thing that I thought in uh, in other in other uh, I, other, do uh, I don't know if it's an influence, but it definitely f brings the feel, brings the vibe uh, of a, a quiet place because it's a it's a heroes mm. fighting in in silence in quietness. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in this one, for different reasons, mm -hmm. uh, you see, and yeah, it's fun. It's 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 well made. Uh, I should go check it. Let us mm -hmm. know. I'm really curious about what people think. Mm -hmm. uh, and I <coughs> I could totally understand why some people might... Yeah, you know, if you're going to give a score, if the score decreases a little bit, or even get to the point of hate mm -hmm. it, it, because of the ending. I, I 
I didn't hate it. Uh, I thought it was uh, different, if not weird. I get it, but it's even funny. Anyways, I'm not gonna say more. But mm. uh, uh, I could see some people you know, like, ah, you know, like Lost. People hated that Lost ended that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, Lost was the journey, it was not the destination. Uh, even at the very end, they had like teases of like, oh, there's more. This guy's mm -hmm. gonna go back and be the king of the island, you know. So, so, uh, you know, it's uh, sometimes it's, it's not about the the end. It's about mm -hmm. the journey, especially because the end. Uh, talking about uh, mortality, uh, and that's the stories we tell because mm. you know nobody went there and came back to. I mean, some claim they do to, to, to tell, you know, the next chapter of the story. Mm -hmm. But if you think that mortality is is the end of the story, uh, <coughs> the, 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 the journey, the the stories that get us there uh, are the ones, are the, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the what, what the you have meat, what, the, the meat the meat yes I, I, I was about to ask what, what's inside the bread and you said the perfect answer the Insane. meat yeah. yeah anyways I know my man how no how no, no one will save will you. save you Kately Dever doing mm -hmm. a really good job yeah watch and let us know yeah I'm really curious because um, uh yeah, I don't know. We like her. We saw her in a lot of things, and we like the movie. We have I have nothing bad to say about it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um. Apparently, there's not a lot bad to say about Taylor Swift right now, about her tour, about the oh, movie. Oh, there's some some bad things. Oh, really? We can get there. Go. Oh, okay. Well, opening day, thirty nine million dollars. Opening day not opening weekend opening day 39 million dollars for the eras tour movie thing. yeah that's yeah. yeah that's impressive and for the weekend how much uh 95 million 95 million yeah that's that's big it is yeah it is theaters needed that it is it is uh uh it's it, it's 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 not about the quality of the movie because it's a show, it's a concert. There's nothing new or spectacular yeah. or different about it. We say movie, it's yeah. just a filmed yeah, yeah. version but, of the concert. But it's a, it's it's her fans. Mm -hmm. They 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 went to see and and what's interesting is like I'm pretty sure that people they already went to the show, spent like fortune to go see a show live. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of them, maybe not all of them, went to see at the theaters too. Mm -hmm. You know, a p part of the, the 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 community, part of the share with your friend. You know, maybe uh, Mary was able to go to the concert, <coughs> but maybe uh, 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 Lily couldn't go because it was expensive because she couldn't buy it yeah, either she way. She didn't get a code because yeah, there's the, there was the whole mess. <laughs> or she didn't have the time, or mm -hmm. for many reasons. So now, local theater, they could share the experience, experience mm -hmm. together. Uh, and yeah, uh, 80, 80, you know how much? 95 million. 95 million mm -hmm. uh, uh, dollars mm -hmm. worth of people went to see. And what I said, there's nothing bad to talk about there. Yeah, I mean, there's this whole discussion about because these these girls, and I assume the majority of girls, mm -hmm. went to see the concert and they have a party there. They like start dancing when Taylor dance and start singing mm -hmm. when Taylor sing. And it, it, it brought this discussion about the ethics, the, 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 the etiquette mm. of, of uh, cinema, you know, of going to the cinemas. You sit there, you watch sure. the movie, uh, uh, you know, you don't add to the soundtrack like our local mo uh, yes. movie theater <laughs> says. <coughs> so it's a discussion. But again, uh, it's not really a movie. Yeah, like, can so, you describe this as cinema yeah no or it's an experience it, yeah that that i think is acceptable for you to for you to dance mm -hmm. and 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 sing and even there was some features that the whole crowd had like led sticks yeah. and and uh, whatever they call mm -hmm. and but yes yeah, so a huge success 
and in in Scorsese is uh, hoping to follow her success with his new Killer of the Flower Killer of the Flower Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon mm -hmm. uh, premiere premiering uh, tomorrow. Uh, and and you know give this boost mm -hmm. to the box office to the audience uh, in this time of you know it's kind of a slump, especially if there's not not much going on, mm -hmm. and because of the strikes a lot of things are being pulled. Mm -hmm. And but overall she's doing great. Uh, besides the rumors that she might be, it's almost guaranteed. <coughs> Everybody is denying, but the rumors that she's gonna be on Deadpool three as uh, Crystal. Uh, mm. A member of the X Men, and the director said, "No, no, it's not true." And then the weekend, uh, he said, "It's not true." He, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman were seen with, right. with Taylor Swift at a, yeah. a Rexon game or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh -huh. yeah, they can almost cannot cannot deny. Yeah. This ah no, we're just friends. Yeah, sure. It looks Anyways. like she's gonna make four point one billion dollars by the time this whole era's tour is all said and done. Um, and which says nothing of like all the money that's been poured into like these towns wherever she shows up to do a tour, like or to do a concert, like anyway. It's a whole thing. Um and, and Beyonce's doing the same thing. Beyonce's on tour right now too, and massive, massive impact wherever she goes. To me, and I, I guess not just the concert, but like for the theater thing, you know, we've, you talked about how there's a kind of a slump. To me, this is like people are willing to go to the theater and people are willing to spend money on stuff that's good and that they actually want to see. And maybe some of these bigger studios, <coughs> Disney, should take note of that. Yep. That like, it's not the sign of the times. It's more like there just hasn't been a whole lot that people really want to see. Yeah, yeah, but Disney is uh, 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 on a, having huge problems. We might talk more mm -hmm. uh, later about it. Uh, besides the strike, that doesn't seem that gonna end in anytime soon. The gap is too wide, uh, they said, but they they trying to negotiate, and we did see something about it. Uh, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah but yeah what we have next all right uh we can't can't let a week go by without talking about sag after george clooney and some other a-listers so oh the uh, as i said the, the gap was too wide they were discussing on the table and they like, yeah it yeah it, it didn't work they left the table and the discussions and went back to the streets mm -hmm. to to pick it uh uh and but this week some A-listers, some big names, uh, among them George Clooney, Ben Affleck. Who was the Who's the other one? Mm -hmm. was, oh gosh, it was a girl, big one. Scarlett Johansson. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, these mm -hmm. are some of the names, and what what they what they talked about. Is they offered to pay over fifty million dollars in annual dues, and something about a reverse residual structure. Yeah. Basically, they're they're putting some more out on the line to try to break this stalemate and end the strike. Yeah, it's it's a dangerous. I mean, it's the union game, but it's kind of a dangerous precedent because if the if they agree to pay these these absorbent absorbent amount exorbitant. absorbitant amount of money. To make this this happens, the studio will not ever not ever pay because they agree to, mm -hmm. uh, and they basically increase the increase the dues for the actors. If not those A-listers, they're gonna dilute among every other actor, or yeah. even if even if it was the big actors, if an actor becomes big, he or she will like have to pay. And you know, people will find ways to. Oh boy! So you're gonna yeah, it's, spend it's... money before. It, anyways, it's it, it, besides the fact that uh, yeah, George Clooney said, "I'll pay everything. I'll fix it," and then he dies or retires. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know if there's a solution or it's just a gesture of of uh, signaling mm -hmm. virtue. It's like I'm so good. I'm George Clooney. Yeah, maybe uh, some virtue signaling and also some. Can this please be over? Yeah. Signaling. Yeah, but 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 anyways, it's still going. It's not it's not over. It's not yeah. It's 
uh, uh, yeah. Ted Sarandos was was uh, he had a stockholders meeting this week uh, talk mm. about uh, Netflix doing well etc etc and he said they are trying their best because they they do want this over but <coughs> they want to try to find a solution that will be good mm -hmm. for everybody and apparently the one the the the, the union uh, is asking is yeah the the studios mm. can yeah they can do yeah. it it's not good for them but you know the 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 union leaders uh keep saying that they're slavers and there's this whole fight it gets dirty on both sides yeah but it's not over it's not done and even though the talk shows are back oh, <laughs> uh but but it's it's weird I, I i we didn't see i didn't see it uh what they talk about it but we were watching celebrity jeopardy and yeah. it's funny because they don't talk anything about work mm -hmm. and even in between uh, uh blocks there was a narrator that was like do you know that in 1955 a dog crossed the road anyways that tells you know because he's an actor the narrator is an actor they, they're not using it oh yeah oh, i didn't even think of yeah. that it would get worse when when there were mm -hmm. the writer strikes because nobody could write yeah. that and nobody could read Oof. yeah but now yeah just quick oh, well. bit about talk shows. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel seems to be the the, the top dog at the time since, yeah. since they got back. Uh, Jimmy uh, Fallon, Colbert. Uh, what? They're all Jimmy's. Uh, Jimmy Stephen okay. Colbert uh, uh, is already out because of COVID. Mm. And yeah. Oh, uh, what's his bucket? John Stewart. Stewart got canceled yeah. uh, after two seasons. They claim creative differences, mm -hmm. which means he was fired. Yeah, so, anyways. Oh, well. Um, okay, let's look at some other business. Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard Finally, for $69 billion. After, after nice. two years of yeah. fights in courts around the world, mm -hmm. it's happening. Not the only major purchase. Um, According to Variety, there are rumors abounding, whispers that Universal is likely to buy Warner Brothers. Yeah, the rumors are growing, and it's said that in the next two years, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, optimists and pessimists are already saying that James Gunn's DC is like, yeah, most likely they're not going to live. It was, also yeah. revealed, it was also revealed this week that he doesn't have <coughs> the amount of power... Mm -hmm. that it was believed that for him to have he doesn't have a full and final decision on everything uh like kevin feige does kevin feige decides about uh uh theater release dvd mm -hmm. release streaming all that uh when it seems like james gunn doesn't have that power and there's already people saying that they're gonna do uh to him what they did to Zack snyder give him something but not allow him to do something mm. so i mean if they do the same it's gonna be a recipe for disaster besides the fact that snyder is a much uh, uh uh better uh director than james gunn that do silly jokes and fart noises anyways plus so that means james gunn it's unfair for us to pile all this on james gunn's head there are other people we should be annoyed at as well. Um, okay, LinkedIn had to lay off more than 660 workers. Yeah. Will they use LinkedIn to find a new job? It seems an emotionally fraught question. Maybe, maybe not, but there's always Indeed. Zero yes. recruiter. Zip recruiter. Z z z zip, not zero. Mm -hmm. yeah. It might be a zero too, I don't know. Yeah, there, For there people that want the worst job, zerorecruiter.com. Yeah. <laughs> anyway there's a lot of options out there so good luck good luck to them layoffs are so oh, it's just sad um okay alec baldwin they're not done with him prosecutors are really trying to get him oh the, he, he, so the, the the he was dismissed right yeah but now it's like nope 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 you're not, not you're gonna get you they're so, looking at involuntary manslaughter yeah so it, it it makes sense. The it has to be done because, yeah, yeah. 
it, it yeah it's like for all intents and purposes he killed the woman he shoot the gun it's like the liberal logics of guns is that people don't kill uh, people guns kill people on this case it goes beyond because he was the hand that shot the gun so if he gets away with it it will be the apex and the maximization i don't know if that's a word of the the idea that the guns, guns kill, kill people. people not people kill people that, yeah. that's ridiculous so <coughs> so yeah that that, that that has to be accounted because yeah it was a tragedy it, it, even if he didn't have that intent uh you know i still just really wondered about the armor i'm just i've never heard a decent explanation for why there were live rounds on set like why would there be a live round in there in the first place I, uh, it I, none I know. of it none of it makes sense to uh, me this seems entirely avoidable yeah, it doesn't and frankly most most like gun related injuries things are, are completely avoidable yeah you can point to like a very specific instance where like oh nope there's your mistake that's what happened usually it's you didn't have it locked up in the safe or you left it lying around loaded anyway yeah. I, I don't understand and it's really sad because someone died yeah uh one quick bit i don't know mm -hmm. if I, I put that in the script but mm -hmm. talking about uh uh people that do terrible things getting away uh mm -hmm. with things uh i'm not gonna say that this guy did a terrible thing or if he's a bad guy but this week a court in london basically uh, uh cleared in in crystallize the sentence it's okay because i'm gay oh and they God. cleared kevin spacey uh of, yeah, of the charges <laughs> uh, anyway you should make a shirt it's okay i'm gay <laughs> oh my god that's so funny it was so bad uh, <laughs> that tape, every now and then like there's something something happens that just like allows all sides to come together in a rare moment of unity and that tweet was one of them uh, it was a tweet everybody okay. yeah it was left and right came together and said nope that's not right <laughs> you can't say yeah. that it's okay that you assaulted people because you're gay you can't get away with sexual assault by coming out yeah it's I don't not know. that those aren't the rules that's not how this works yeah. anyway well oh my gosh spectacular watch yeah watch out for the next one because yeah kevin space brought to you by kevin spacey mm. oscar winning actor he's something yeah anyways um and other hollywood law um tara strong got fired from an animation project she was working on and if you're not aware tara strong is like a big deal in the animation world because she's like she's a voice actor who's in basically everything that involves oh, and voice she, actors. She, she brought She's to huge. life Harley Quinn, <coughs> yeah. a, a original character of um, the Batman animated, animated adventures. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was uh, created by Podini, and it didn't exist. But the character was it got so big that they moved from the from the animation to the comics, into comics to movies, into movies back mm -hmm. to comics. It, it's yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's a phenomenon. It's cross media. Uh, type of phenomenon. But she established the voice, and every other actress who stepped into those shoes does like fall. They they all follow. Oh her yeah, her. it's yeah. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, definitely. Anyways, anyway. uh, she she was involved in this independent, this indie animation. Uh, that's coming to be, and mm -hmm. uh, she she was outspoken about uh her defense of Israel mm -hmm. after the the terrorist attack uh, against Israel. And she was outspoken about that, and the the company basically fired her. She was definitely not happy about it because it's an indie animation, and she's she's she's, she's no small potatoes. Uh, her voice coming to this would, would help this this girl uh, uh, in, in popular. A lot of people would mm -hmm. watch just because it has her. Uh, anyways, it had her. Uh, but it, but besides that, she was really really. Uh, sad and, 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 and pissed because she was basically fired for 
for being Jewish, uh, her words. And, and you know, on, in this moment that uh, Israel is being attacked, not only by terrorists, by some, some uh, left uh, ideologues out there, it was, yeah, she's, she was not happy. Mm-mm. Yeah, so, uh, um, okay, let's shift, let's shift gears here for a little bit. Um, let's look at superheroes in that world. The Boys spinoff Gen V got renewed for a second season. Yeah, and it's good. Brad, it, Brad, it, like it. it literally brings new blood and new life to uh. the, the, the Boys universe. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a good expansion. Um, so much blood. All of it unnecessary. But it's, well, that's it. <sighs> That's the franchise. Um, okay, let's go over to Disney and look at their Star Wars, and uh, it's just a mess over there. A financial anal- analyst suggests that um, Lucasfilm and Disney need to just cut it out with Filoni's Mandoverse because of Ahsoka's poor ratings. Yeah, it, it, the numbers, even though the show wasn't bad, but the numbers didn't help, and is mm-hmm. you know it's not for charity, it's not for fun, it's to make profit and make more. And make more profit and make more yeah. and keep the industry alive and people employed mm-hmm. and people happy and, and if all those clogs are not in sync mm-hmm. you know it, it doesn't work so yeah uh, yeah that's that's what's going on yeah i love filoni i love so much of what he's done but if disney were to just like slow down and do some quality over quantity yeah it could be a really good thing for a, a lot of good reasons. Yeah, and I think and I think the 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 question of authority there is it's uh, again uh, on 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 the foreground because you 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 know what he, we know and we saw what he did on on Clone Wars and Rebels. He was a big boss. It was it was his. Mm-hmm. Once he moved to live action, it's uh, he wrote the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I think direct one episode, maybe mm-hmm. two, and then everything else was like Kathleen Kennedy put like this director. Oh, this director, who is that? Oh, it's, it's a woman. Oh, this director. Oh, it's a person of color. You know the whole uh, uh, diversity inclusion. Performative tokenist approach to diversity. Yeah. Uh, there's is going on in Hollywood when I'm pretty sure if 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 he was uh, in full control, it would be at least a bit better. But of course, some of the problems with with Ahsoka, uh, outer uh, narrative and outer production are Disney uh, fa- failing and bring people back because mm. they lost people they will never come back. And and with that, yeah, that's that's not on the ham. Yeah. But anyways, this it is a financial uh, specialist mm-hmm. saying that's like you guys maybe should you know rethink yeah. you know he did like Obi Wan so you should go home and rethink your life. Yeah. 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 Disney, please stop selling us death sticks. We're over it. Um, they have scrapped Daredevil, but they are officially planning a new MCU on Disney Plus. Yeah, it's a it's a. I wish they would. Daredevil, how can you how can you fail that? Well, after after what they did on Netflix, how it was so can, good. How can you fail that? It's they like, had such an unbelievable cast. They had Vincent freaking D'Onofrio. Yeah, I mean, it, I, and Charlie Cox was brilliant. I think I mentioned Charlie Cox was here. He was so convincing as a blind American man that when he was here as a sighted British man, I was deeply disoriented. <laughs> and confused the whole t- uh, the whole time. I got I'm a grown up. I got over it. But like, these are good and actors. That, that's and that's how good of an good actor job. he is. Yeah, he makes you think he's British and he can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Either way, he's not what he appears to be, and it's real confusing. And then Vincent D'Onofrio, who can like with no apparent physical change, just sit there on stage and switch between like lovable artist teacher man and switch to like horrifying villain like the man is so good 
Anyway, they had it all. They blew it. Yeah. No, Obviously, like, I'm disappointed. Just keep doing what they did. No, <laughs> right? Hire the same people. It's like, no, no, we're going to do our own thing. They, they went James Gunn and so said, like, no, this is the same actors, but they're not the same characters. Because it's a different universe. This is my universe. And their universe failed. Anyways, yeah. it's it's ridiculous. They, they scrapped. They're going to restart. And mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah. a big fail. Big, 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 big. But... Not all is doom and gloom. Um, Disney released a 100th anniversary short. Their 100th anniversary was this week. Happy birthday. Um, But they were able to bring back Robin Williams as the genie. Yeah. They didn't go for the AI route. They did Mm -hmm. ask for the family for permission. Uh, Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's a cool thing. Yeah, they have. and, And this is no surprise. There's probably tons, like hours of extra audio of, of like his recordings doing genie oh i'm and pretty so sure there's use... i'm pretty sure there's a ton of extra is scripted uh, mm-hmm. uh, and of course uh, robin would get out of you know, yeah like, oh let's do this oh that's right good. yeah <laughs> like here's the script and here's what robin williams yeah. did so there's all a, of which yeah. was like way better than what anybody uh-huh. could write <laughs> so they were able to use that and i we haven't seen it yet but like oh, that makes my heart happy yeah um, Another big one coming back uh, uh, to voice uh, a lovely, a loved, beloved character mm. is John Rice Davis. He's getting, he's coming yes. back for Return to Moria, and he's gonna voice Gimli. Uh, I have to be clear because he also voices other characters he does. in the Lord of the Rings. He does, yes, but yes, he's coming back as Gimli. It's a role that he clearly loves. Um, and he loves how much the fans love it. And so, anyway, that's gonna be great. Um, I'm so tired of reading about what this woman is saying, but tell tell us, Alex, what is going on with Jada Pinkett Smith? Oh, this is, this is so oh much. My gosh. I I mean, what what summarizes <coughs> the best is uh well first I was watching well the, she reveals that she and Will are separated for I don't know a decade or so six or seven years six or seven yeah. years. Uh, and uh, I was watching a clip of a uh, Grand Mountain show, a British talk show. And, oh, yeah. And there's a clip. There's a, uh, He's sitting with... He always has stars, and he grabs everybody together. And this yeah. is it's funny because... It's such it's a fun format, yeah. Because you, there's people that I don't <coughs> ever work together might have the chance to... To yeah. learn things to we have like fun. Lily Tomlin, Nicole Kidman, Matt LeBlanc, yeah. and like some goofy British comedian. So on this like one, Jimmy Carr or something. It's, it's so fun. On this one was uh, was Will Smith, was uh, Ryan Reynolds, Ooh. was uh, who was the girl? Uh, J- Thomas? No, Thomas Jones, Jones, Catherine Zeta Jones, and the guy there is a rat on Harry Potter. Whose last name is Jones as well. You know what I'm talking about, right? Peter Pettigrew is yeah. how his name will the be character. forever in my mind. Yeah. yeah. And he was also in the MCU as mm-hmm. uh, the original version of uh, uh, Modoc. Anyways, oh. they changed that too. Uh, uh, anyways, and, and Gra- Graham was like, oh, in this, in this uh, couch alone, we have like so many love stories. We have... Like so many successful marriages, we have Will Smith. Oh, like, oh boy! <laughs> we oh, have Will Smith, Ryan Reigns, and then he goes through and and, and, and from from youngest to to, uh, I think Reynolds is a couple years, three or four years with Blake. Oh, was at the time, and, yeah. and Smith was a little bit more. Captain Jones, obviously, more of Michael Douglas, and the other Jones. Uh, 43 years together Aww. one year married <laughs> so it was yeah All right. you know, liberals. I mean... that, that's what they do but but jada is writing memoirs and apparently people read i want to read and she revealed that she's revealing uh romances with tupac or they were like soulmates but they know in love some crap like that they also mm-hmm. uh, she also revealed that they were separated for so long. For me, the best, mm-hmm. what summarizes this whole thing is that Babylon B uh, uh, put, a, put a post saying that Jada Pinkett Smith revealed that her and Will Smith were actually never married. Yes. Just, they never met. They never met. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, 
That that's perfect. Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, the internet's abound with memes saying things like, "I will pay her money to stop talking." Um, journalistic integrity requires that we stop interviewing her. Please just make it stop. Everything I know about this, I have learned unwillingly. Um, Will Smith's media posts have been fantastic. His first was just like him taking a nap on a boat, and it said notification silenced. Yeah. So that was great. And then he did one where he's like, all right, all right, here's what I have to say, or something like that. And then suddenly the camera just like did this dramatic zoom out, like all the way, like up into the sky. So it's basically he's saying nothing. Um, and I feel like he wins this whole situation. It's it's been sad. It's not my place to like judge or criticize or anything, but it just really feels like whenever people start to forget about her, she says something else about their relationship to get attention back. And it seems to always be at Will Smith's expense. I don't know. It's sad. And I'm frustrated. Over yeah. It. Anyway. Oh, apparently Chris Rock asked her out at some point. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was the best one. Chris Rock. They, yeah. So she was saying something about that. And he said, keep my name out of your mouth. Who said that? Chris Rock did. Huh? Chris Rock, he, she, she was saying something about him. Oh, and he, and he yeah, said, keep my name out of your ass <laughs> mouth. Like, you know what? He really deserved that. He really deserved that. Yeah. Well, about Chris Rock. Chris Rock and Kevin Hart are coming up with a documentary about theirs. The show, the concert is coming, I think, to Netflix in November. We bring more details on this. Mm-hmm. It's getting closer. Yeah. Okay. Other upcoming projects. Kingsman 2. We know. Not Kingsman. The King's Man. You know what it's going to cover. Yeah, interesting franchise based on comic books. Three movies really well done. Mm-hmm. And this one's going to follow up on the movie that prequel, the the, mm-hmm. the other two movies, which is interesting. I thought they would go back to present times, you know. Mm. Uh, but no, this, they, they're going to follow this one on a historical fiction or fictional, fictionalized his, history, which is always fun. You know, a lot of great movies do that. Indiana Jones did that gratefully. Uh, and this time is the rise of Hitler. Yeah, which we know is going to be a major bummer because we know that he did in fact rise. So, what it's, do you mean? I mean, it's, we know it's not going to have a happy ending. They won't, you know, take down Hitler or anything. Yeah, it's, it's not about the fall of Hitler. It's about the rise of Hitler. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess, since it's fiction, I guess it depends since on it's fiction, they're... it could go either way. They could show him uh, taking over, but again, on that universe, it, it doesn't could. happen. No, no, the universe it doesn't happen because yeah. in, the, in, the, in the modern times, that would be nice. Exit, uh, uh, kind of like a. But it, it, they could show. Once upon a time in Hollywood, they winning, they winning a major battle, and you know maybe Hitler had something much worse, and they stop him. From um, I don't know making okay. zombies or going into space or mm-hmm. I don't know it, there, there's a lot of possibilities and yeah we'll see yeah we will Mad Santa well that's not the name of the show the Santa Claus is season two is coming the first yeah. season was okay and the Mad Santa wants his job back yeah you remember Mad Santa from what was the third one yeah. Yeah, the, the robot. Oh, Tim Allen. that one. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, eh. we'll see. Um, to celebrate Monty Python, and the the forty eight and a half anniversary of Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail, um, it will return to theaters yeah. with a special quote along cut. Talk What's about a long cut? Talk, I don't know. Talk about educate on the theaters. Yeah. Like when he says something, everybody says it too. It's true. I have seen it in a theater <laughs> before at, when I was at university, and it would have been a terrible experience if it was your first time watching it. But for those of us who have seen it like dozens of times, it was a blast. Yeah, but when, it was when it's so fun. When it's part of the social contract, uh, it, it's right. acceptable. You know, they do they do that for several other movies. That the one with the the, the gay. Zombie. Oh, what is that? Rocky Horror Picture Show? Yeah. They do like dances and stuff. Yeah. 
uh, uh, and I'm pretty sure sing alongs for the movies mm -hmm. too. I think yeah, Dr. Horrible. I think, I think Grease does the sing along too. And several of the movies also. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not completely out of the book. It's just people that hate Taylor Swift because as, as big as she gets, as so much love as she gets, she gets hate on the other side too. That's true. She has to a whole song about to it. Bring and it's <laughs> to the Anyways. Okay, speaking of bringing balance, Daily Wire has announced a live action Snow White adaptation. Yeah, starring... it's Snow White and the Evil Queen, starring mm -hmm. their own uh, Brad Cooper. Uh, this... It was absolutely not Ben Shapiro wearing lipstick. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a recurring joke. They, they used to say that mm -hmm. it's like, every time I see Brad, I don't see Ben. Every time I see Ben, I don't see Brad. And they finally showed up together. Well, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Um, <laughs> they finally showed up together. So it's it's it's, it's promising. Uh, mm -hmm. The trailer looks looks beautiful. It's part of the Daily Wire new uh, channel. Bent Key mm -hmm. is a channel that was like on the first it's an app. Day. Yeah, channel yeah. app. That was the first day was like top of the the Apple uh, mm -hmm. Store charts with content for kids. Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. Good, decent, uh, clean content for kids. Not mm -hmm. trying to preach, but you know, helping kids learn and kids being kids. So it's good that they're gonna do uh, classic uh, and good take yeah. on Snow White. And I said it. I even told them uh, that you know we should beat Disney at their game, and they should release at the theaters that you know that would really be if, something if they build it we will come mm -hmm. people will go we saw the phenomenon that was uh, uh the the people that made the chosen what they make everybody is like it's getting yeah. huge numbers the phenomenon there was a sound of freedom you know mm -hmm. so if if they put out people will go watch and but again they want to promote their streaming platform i don't know if they're gonna do that they could do both apple does both netflix yeah. does amazon does we'll see i don't know the last couple of movies we saw from them were kind of disappointing but the first one i saw from from them i thought was pretty fantastic so they can pull this back together which and... one which one was a uh, was the first one you saw ah uh, i can't remember titles okay. but it's the one with the mom gets trapped in that pantry okay. while her like abusive ex is out there with her kids and she has to like save her children but there's also this whole personal redemption thing and which ones was the ones you didn't like uh the superhero one with carrie ellis okay and we didn't see the one with um gina carano out on the prairie but that one didn't get terribly good reviews most people are pretty disappointed yeah well i, I didn't see that one yeah. But they have like really good ones that the What is a Woman, the documentary. Yes, that one was very it's interesting. Spectacular. Yeah. Uh the the and the and there's the first one you didn't see is one about the mm. school shooting. Yeah. And but anyways. But yeah. they're making Snow White mm -hmm. and it's gonna be successful, but I think they could go beyond the recent theaters. That remains to be seen. Yeah, that would really be something. All right. Last but not least, um, do you have three point one million dollars? Uh, it depends. Right what do you want to buy? Um, an X wing. Give me three. <laughs> well, okay. If it was a real X wing, mm -hmm. sure, that would like be a bargain. That's a steal. Yeah, that's but, a steal. But it was the the the, the prop the 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 model the model used yeah. for shooting of uh, Star Wars. Uh, mm -hmm. Episode four was sold for three point mm. one million dollars. I mean, frankly, there are worse ways to spend three million dollars. Oh, they have but, yeah, an but, original X wing. That's pretty cool. But three three point one? Come on, I wouldn't pay more than two point eight. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it, uh, and again, it, it's uh, it, 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 people with money, they're collect, they're mm -hmm. col collectors, but also. An investment, you know. If one day this sure. guy decides to sell, he's definitely mm. got, not gonna sell for for, for less or That's for true. the same. He's gonna sell for more. Again, you have to considering bad, bad economies 
and social mm. social politics uh, around the world, uh, the, the devolarization of money. But you know, pieces of mm-hmm. art, you know, it, it's like gold; yeah. they not can decrease value, even if the economy is falling apart. But mm. again, anyways, good for him. Yeah. Go choo choo choo. Play with your mm. X wing. I don't have three point one million dollars, but for public credits, we'll do fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Anyways, that's it for this week. We're gonna see mm-hmm. Killers of Flower Killers of the Flower Moon new Scorsese yes. movie. So uh, and yeah, we we'll come back next week to talk mm-hmm. all about it and more in pop culture news, entertainment. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Bye. Bye. Thank you.